the touchback. 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you get this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. It, but out of bounds according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions it'll be Minshew again escaping the pressure right and I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 23. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 11-yard line. to go deep for Kirk and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down so we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report coach the Vikings have to like their position they've got the lead they get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. He finds an opening past the 40 as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. That's a 48-yard line. This is Fournette. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 40 and in 12. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with to have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team would say, hey, yeah, we called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? 
And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Leonard Fournette on the carry. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Off play action, it's Minshew. Eluding the pressure right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 20-yard line. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. Fournette on the toss to the right. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Back at the 24-yard line. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. First and goal at the one-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Leonard Fournette with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Makes the score, Vikings 31, Bengals 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That'll be complete to Breda. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brings up second and They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a give to Breda. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and inches. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Greta. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Going deep downfield for Ross. 
That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. To John Ross. John Ross, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Bengals. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals' drive about to get going. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Gardner Minshew. Sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Jabal Sheard able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brings up third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. No run call here. They'll look to throw instead. And that will be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those... Oh, they're on it too quickly back there, and it's blocked. And the Vikings are in for the touchdown. Minnesota. But they didn't have their normal cushion there in order to punt the ball away. It leads to a lot of anxiety for the team kicking the football. But for the punter, you know that you've got to get rid of that quickly there. Not quick enough. And also, not stepping behind you and stepping over the end line for a safety. That one gets blocked, and it's six points. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that'll get their own 25-yard line. Trying to get the run game going. This is Fournette. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. On the ready. Hey, Steve Six. Steve Six. Check 26. Six. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now on second and 13, Minshew. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. on third down not quite 50 percent four for nine this is going to be third and 13. from the shotgun he'll look to throw and able to find kirk complete and all the way down to the 36 yard line 
A big third down play there for the Bengals. 42 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. 